Hi, this is Aaron from OneSideZero.net and today we will take a quick look and the overview which include the unboxing of the Asus ROG Ally. Let's check it out. So let's just kick, kick start with the unboxing but obviously I have taken, taken out the device over here. So uh, let's go through the uh, what is inside the box. So let's just put this one side. And this is the actual box of the Asus ROG Ally. And uh, over here, we have the power adapter that you can take a look at the specs over here. So this is actually a 65 watt charger. And of course, the power cable as well. So that you can plug into the adapter and plug in straight to your ROG Ally. So apart from that, you also will get a kickstand over here. Alright, this is actually the kickstand which you can uh, take it out. So this is actually the kickstand which you can use it to actually, you know, put your ROG Ally upright. Let's just put this one side. And despite all of this, of course, you will have the uh, quick start guide over here and whatnot. So all you need to do is just dock it just like this. So let's just go through a bit of the, uh, uh, the features or the overview of the device. So the ROG Ally is actually a handheld PC. And when it comes to the specification, this is actually powered by the AMD Ryzen Z1 or Z1 Extreme. So there is only one variant as far as I concern uh, over the device. So when it comes to the further specification, this is actually running on 16 gigs of uh, DDR5 memory along with 512 gigs of NVMe internal storage. But of course, you can swap the internal storage if you want. Uh, for say that if you don't have enough uh, internal space, you want to swap it. Well, you can do that. Just be careful and be mindful while changing the NVMe drive internally. While uh, by specification, this can be expanded by swapping the NVMe drive up to two terabyte if you wish to. So. Right off the bat, when we start up the device, you have to go through all the uh, out-of-the-box experience, so-called OOBE, uh, because this is actually a Windows 11 device. And this device is actually preloaded with Windows 11 Home license. So the license is already pre-activated. All you need to do is uh, register, sign in, go through all the Windows process, and basically you are done. So upon that, uh, so this screen over here, uh, as you can see over here, this is actually the Amory Crate SE. So what does the Amory Crate does is, uh, you know, it arranges all the game that you have installed. So right off the bat, um, you have the default uh, game that is pre-installed, which is moving out, uh, which is uh, in uh, a game, a simple game whereby you can start immediately after you have unboxed the ROG Ally and registered um, I mean, uh, after you have launched Windows and everything, you can start this game right up. So other than that, you can also, because basically this is actually a Windows device, Windows powered device, uh, you can actually install all the games that you want uh, compared to its competition. Let's just say, for example, the Steam Deck. So uh, it's not just limited to Steam, but also you can install uh, Xbox game or you want to go through the cloud, there is no issue with it. So uh, you can install better.net as well. So uh, basically you can install every game that you want. So one thing that you have to be mindful is uh, the games that you want to install inside it. Because uh, this is still a mobile device by the end of the day. So certain games may not be, uh, be able to take the advantage uh, uh, of the uh, Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor as this is still a mobile PC class processor. So we have tested a few games uh, so far and this is just one part of the overview of the device. So let's just see over here. This is actually the power button which also acts as the uh, fingerprint scanner. So it is great because it's located at this position. If you wanted to unlock, 
you can just touch it over here and the device will be unlocked so basically what i am trying to say here this also supports windows hello uh, authentication so this is actually the volume key whereby you can just uh you know volume up or volume down this is actually the USB-C charging port, which also support data, which means that you can plug into any generic USB-C hub, and then you can plug into your external device such as monitor, especially if you have another extra monitor lying around, this could be a very good desktop as well. So uh, it could be your fast desktop replacement if you wanted to. And to further amp up things or to power up things, this is actually the ROG XG port whereby you can actually purchase the uh, XG uh, graphic device to be plugged here. And ASUS actually offer up to the RTX 4090. However, this is going to be a little bit pricey. So this is actually the uh, headphone microphone combo jack. And this is the micro SD card slot. Now the micro SD card slot can support up to over one terabyte of micro SD card. So you can just right off the bat, go to a store, buy any micro SD card, as long as it, uh, it matches the specification, you can actually quickly expand your storage over here. And there are a few keys over here. So usually uh, when you're in the game, this will be your select and this will be your start uh, key. So this is actually the command center, whereby if you are fully plugged in to the power adapter, this will run in turbo operating mode. But of course, you can also set it to silent mode or when you're out and about without the charger with you or you just want to play in mobile mode, you can actually set it to silent mode, performance mode at 15 watt or turbo at 30 watt. So this is actually the gamepad mode whereby some of the games, uh, you have to set it to gamepad mode. And uh, so the, uh, when you go back to desktop mode, you can actually switch it to desktop mode so that you can move, uh, you know, like a mouse cursor. So let me just switch it back to uh, uh, gamepad mode. So this is uh, one of the important features that you have over here. This is actually the FPS limiter because when you're out and about without your charger with you or without a fairly large power bank to support, so you can actually limit your FPS to have a comfortable longer gameplay time. Now, indie games, are the biggest advantage when it comes to this games like sonic mania you can just set it to you know 30 or 45 fps as well as combine with the silent mode so that you can play it much longer so when it comes to battery life the rog ally can actually last anywhere from two hours up to six or six and a half hours but that also depends on the games that uh, you plan to play for example, games like Sonic Mania will get you easily probably around 5 hours like this with Wi-Fi turn off. But games like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart will just take you about 2 hours or even lesser. Even games like Genshin Impact will only last you for about 2 hours only. But that depends on the game setting which we will talk about probably in a future video. So, you can also Toggle switch your resolution really quickly, whether it's 10, uh, 1080p, Full HD or 720p HD. This is good uh, for certain indie games, for example, uh, whereby uh, you want to just play it in 720p. Yes, you can do so. And uh, this advantage also applies to emulator, which we'll probably talk about this also in the future review. So right off the bat, you can go to the settings in the Armory Crate SE and uh, you can actually edit the command center. So this is what I have arranged, but you can actually add more to it. So this is the lighting portion whereby you can control the RGB lights over here and over here. So you can set it whether it's a color cycle and it will apply straight away. Just give it a few seconds and then this will change to color cycle mode or you want to change it to breathing mode, it's all up to you. Or even you wanted to change it to rainbow mode. But if let's say you are uh, going out uh, without carrying your charger or you're planning to go to mobile mode, uh, maybe turning off the lighting will give you a bit of stretch uh, over your battery life. Now, from almost empty to full, 
uh, combined with the 65 watt charger that Asus uh, that is supplying for the ROG Ally, you can charge it back from uh, almost empty to full uh, in about two hours time, plus or minus. So as you can see over here, there's also additional trigger buttons that you can customize. And of course, this is actually the fan vent. So that's pretty much about it on the ROG Ally. Um, when it comes to the pricing, this is actually officially selling at Ringgit Malaysia 3,299 Ringgit. So that includes all the package uh, inside the box that I mentioned about. So uh, that's pretty much about it uh, that I wanted to mention about the ROG Ally because this is just a quick overview and the introduction. Moving forward, we will try to dive in uh, on what are the games that are uh, you know, suitable uh, can be played on the ROG Ally. So stay tuned to this channel as we're going to talk more about the ROG Ally as well as its competition such as the Steam Deck. All right, I do have a Steam Deck over here. And uh, right out of the gate, you can see the Steam Deck is actually slightly bigger and heavier compared to the ROG Ally. So that's pretty much about it. And uh, stay tuned to our page. Remember to like and subscribe to us. And I shall see you in the next one.